We are live. What is up after a awesome show day and a ridiculous uh, day Bro, for me? Let's not call this four and one. Let's call this Trevor three and zero, oh, Gino one and one. It's okay, brother. You are who you surround yourself with. I am honored that I bring on people better than me. It shows that I have business acumen. You went three and zero oh yesterday. The show is four and one plus two and a half units. We are pretty much up 80% of the time we've had shows, which won't sustain guys. Our goal is 55%, but 80% feels fucking nice this month. It's, it's ridiculous. Like I, I told everybody yesterday, I said, listen, man, go, go have a nice dinner. Like, like this isn't, I get we're doing well, but this isn't normal. I'm trying to make six to 8% a month, six to eight. If we hit that, that's magical magical and we're murdering it and i got laughed at for giving out both the first quarter and first half unders oh. they're like you don't know what you're giving out like again i gave out one of them here but in, in dd i gave out both and that's just life like you gotta make uncomfortable bets and i'm gonna give you guys some uncomfortable fucking bets today you, you don't win money making comfortable bets i'll just tell you guys that right now if you feel really good about your slate trev i actually think we said this yesterday Yep. How ugly we felt our slate was. Those are some of the best fucking slates. Yeah, it's uh, it's the same way. We we had that, and then I had that conversation literally with somebody else yesterday that uh, when we're – because I play a lot of daily fantasy. When I love my lineup, I get smoked. And when I'm like, oh, I don't want to play this, but this is the right math play, those are my best days. You want to hate your lineup. It means you're going against the public, and not just the public, but the feeling. You don't want to love a play too much. I'm telling you, if, if it, especially if it sticks. If you love, and I know it sounds terrible, but if you love a play and it moves on you, you found something. But if you love a play and then it gets even better about tip off, it's it's dangerous. But let's give people some plays. I got, I think I'm going down to fucking Miami in like an hour, or so I got to get this shit out. And we're also I got to go Q and A for the instant bets. Um, Trev, I think you got to lead off. All right, uh, uh, we're going K props again. We went three and zero on them yesterday. First one up, we got James Paxton of the Red Sox under five and a half minus one hundred four for one unit versus the Padres. The Padres just so Paxton, when he's been healthy, is a dominant pitcher. Two things here: the Padres don't strike out a lot, and they do something that has been Paxton's weakness. They walk a truckload. So Paxton. From the Red Sox, under five and a half. This should be four and a half, minus 104 for one unit. Next one, arguably the best pitcher in baseball this year right now, Zach Allen of the Diamondbacks. They play the Pirates today, the highest K rate in the league. Like, Pittsburgh started off hot those first two and a half, three weeks, and now the real Pirates are here. And my Allen has been play. dominating. My squarest play of the day is Arizona. Just so you all know. It's a square play. I get it, but it's minus one seventy. I think. Just throwing that out there. Sorry to interrupt you, Trev. I'll get this. So the, again, we're talking about lines. This line should be minus one forty with the way Gallon's pitching. This line shouldn't be minus one fourteen. Like it's just ridiculous. Like again, if we're gonna find mispriced lines, we're making a unit. And then our last one, we got a split unit and a half. But this is our odds jam play of the day. Uh, Brandon Bialak of the Astros. So we're going over four and a half plus one and one for one unit and over five and a half plus 120 for a half unit. The four and a half you can take to minus 120 and you're still going to be EV positive. But don't don't scale these guys, please. Like I know you guys message me and you do. And just throwing you guys a bone that Trev and I don't always align. I actually have Oakland as an EV positive play today. It's effing gross. I get it. Um, but just know I'm on. So I align with him on Arizona. And I'm technically, even though these aren't direct correlations, like both of us can hit on opposite sides. He, the guy can strike out 10 and Oakland still win. Absolutely. And they could get to their bullpen and go after him. And, and it's a, it really. Yeah, it's, it's one of those listens that the A's are going to eventually win some games. 
I just like his K prop here. He could also hit this K prop and give up seven runs. And like both of these are in his range of outcomes. And I don't like trying to thread a needle. Just so you guys know, I don't like when Trevor likes the other, the opposite, the opposing team's pitcher. We like it better when we're on the same team and same pitcher. Totally agree. It's just a lot simpler. Like, I hate those. You guys might like these, and I apologize if you like them. I don't want to take away fun. I like gambling for fun, too. But, like, I hate the double result of, like, Team A and then Team B to win. That's just not a good bet. Bet Team A in the first half and then take your extra points at halftime and bet the other team. Like, that, that's this weird feeling you have. Double results are just – they're just brutal. The only one that ever makes a little sense is tied at halftime and then one team. But mathematically, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not on those. So Yeah, they're just if you want to be a degen and have a lottery ticket. So Trev gave out three plays. I'm going to jump in and give out two. I want to – the homie Mike was commenting, so I want to I want to feed him. The first ugly play, Seattle at Atlanta, first five innings plus a half. It's minus 108. Minus 108 is insanely cheap. I want to say this pitcher has walked like two people all year. He's a freaking stud. Um, someone was commenting one. I thought it was two, but if you, if you say one, I believe you might. Yeah, listen, it's Bryce Miller. He's one of the best young prospects in baseball. He's a savage. This Seattle team is fucking good. I get they're on a long road trip now. I get it, but I'm just telling you, you're giving me a half a run in baseball. I love plus a half. Like my favorite bet is plus a half first five. Um, I obviously love when I get plus a half and plus money on a bad team. Didn't get that here, but I don't think this is priced right. I think this should be minus 125 and minus 108. Again, it might not seem like a lot of difference, but trust me, guys, it's a lot. So I'll shut up now. Seattle, first five plus a half. And then the ugly one. I love the fucking under in game one. I loved it. My fucking Miami under team total got smoked. <laughs> And now I'm going over 110 first half. Why? More people are betting the over, uh, under. Excuse me. Why would I do that? Why would I jump if I loved all these fucking unders? I think Boston was punched in the jaw, and they realized they actually have to run with Miami. My assessment of this matchup is actually the inverse of Lakers and Denver. If anyone of you guys listened yesterday when I gave out the winners, Boston knows they cannot lock down Miami. They cannot play one-on-one. -on -one. They actually need to run with them. And Boston needs to beat them with more firepower, you know, piece, piece by superior firepower. That is how I see the series now. I don't really love uh, Miami plus nine, which like seems like the most obvious play. I'm like, why the fuck is it plus nine? It doesn't make sense. That's where I just got to feel that someone better than me is capping this game. So I like over 110. I like a nice little 58, 54 halftime, nothing too crazy. I think Boston knows they need to run with them. And I think Boston can run with Miami. So I'm going to hand the mic back to Trev. I'll do my recap. Then Trev will do his recap. And then we'll, I'll stay on TikTok for a second. But reverse order, my favorite play of the day, Seattle first five plus a half minus 108. Then I got over 110 first half. Boston, Miami at even, and then I'll hand it over to Trev. So to make you feel a little better, when Gino first told me about the Seattle bet, I twinged. I literally was like, oh, because it's just, it's the Braves at home. But then I dug into it, did, looked at my math, looked at our models. There, there, It's an edge there, right? And we're, at, we're edge betters. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for misprice. Where can we find edges? So my three are, James Paxton of the Red Sox, under five and a half Ks today, minus 104 for one unit. Zach Cy Young Gallon of the Diamondbacks, over six and a half Ks, minus 114 for a unit. And then our odd jam play of the day, Brandon Belock of the Astros, over four and a half for one unit at plus 101, and over five and a half, plus 120 for a half unit. You can take the four and a half to minus 120. So I do want to talk about this real quick because I've been asked a few times now. Guys, keep in mind, prop lines move fast. There's fast. a lot more. And when they misprice them, there's a lot of people watching them now and they're getting smacked. There's not so, a lot on the other side to balance Yeah, so I'm trying to – I'll try to give you guys, hey, what I'm good with taking it up to. Uh, otherwise, you got to pass. I just don't see the value in it. I And I hate paying juice. 
So that's like my least favorite thing to do. It's, it's why one of the things I, how I ended up meeting Gino was bet openly. And I was like, Oh, he actually gets it. Like he understands. I mean, guys, we had a red month last month, our second red month in 12 months. And we're now up double what we lost in those two months. So literally it's insane. Like this can't sustain. I I, I love it. Like going four and one with Trev yesterday up two and a half units, betting half units. We're, we're fucking printing. So a- anyone like, I appreciate yeah. all the likes and follows. Appreciate the love and education. The DMS we've been getting are insane. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. And I, I hate to say this. It's going to sound arrogant. I'm an arrogant motherfucker. If anyone ever wants to fade us, create the fucking bet on bet openly, tweet the URL and tag me. Until then, you're just a spineless little coward chirping away on social media. If you all think we're not good, go opposite. We're giving you all our fucking plays two to three hours early. Fucking go opposite and at me. Call me out. Take my money. You don't like me. Take my money. You don't like Trev. Trev's a fraud. Mm-hmm. Trev's old. We both wear hats. Take our fucking money. If you don't take our fucking money, you're a clown. You're a clown. Yeah, a I love it. Little clown. Yeah, it's uh, it's been great. So awesome. Well, hey, go uh, go enjoy Miami. Uh, let's have a good weekend. Later, brother. I appreciate you. I'm gonna stay on TikTok uh, for a second. Later. Uh,